we're going to look at how to reflect a shape over the y-axis. When you reflect a shape, you should end up with a shape that's symmetrical to the original shape, which means that it's the same on both sides of a line. It's just a mirror image. The first thing that I like to do is to label my points. Point A is at negative 6, 3. Point B is at negative 4, 7. And point C is at negative 1, 1. The next thing that I like to do is to identify what line I'm going to reflect over. In this case, I'm reflecting over the y-axis, which is this line right here down the middle. The next thing that I like to do is to try to figure out where my new points are going to go. So point A is at negative 6, 3. If I was going to flip that over the y-axis so that it's a mirror image on the other side, all it's going to do is change it from negative 6 to positive 6. The 3 will stay the same. For B, instead of negative 4, it's going to switch to positive 4, and the 7 will stay the same. And for C, it's going to change from negative 1 to 1, and the other 1 will stay the, stay the same. So if I graph those points, 6, 3, 4, 7, and 1, 1, and I connect my dots together, I should get a triangle that's symmetrical to the original triangle, just on the other side of the line. It's a mirror image. If I was going to reflect a shape over the x-axis, the process is very similar, just a slight change. I'm still going to start by labeling my points. So point A is at negative 9, 1. Point B is at negative 3, 5. And point C is at negative 2, 3. The next thing that I'm going to do is try to identify what line I'm going to reflect over. This time I'm going to reflect over the x-axis, which is this line across right here. Since I'm going to reflect over the x-axis this time, my points are going to end up being below the line, just a mirror image. For point A at negative 9, 1, when we reflect reflected over the x-axis, this time both of our points are going to be negative, so it'll be at negative 9, negative 1. Point B is going to be at negative 3, negative 5 this time. And point C is going to be at negative 2, negative 3. If I connect my dots, you can see that my two triangles are symmetrical to each other. They are just mirror images.